Hey, I'm Jennifer Benson with the band Ignescent from the Chicago area. I'm super excited to announce that our song, Calling Out to You, is on Worthy the Movie soundtrack. Well, you can check us out at ignescentmusic.com, as well as on our Facebook and our Instagram page at Ignescent Music. You can also check out more information about Worthy the Movie on the Facebook page at Worthy the Movie. Well, I'm here just to encourage you and just to tell you that God loves you so, so much. It doesn't matter where you've been. It doesn't matter what you've done. You are worthy, and you are worthy of his love. Well, make sure to check us out in Worthy the Movie Worldwide in Theaters. Hey, I'm Jennifer Benson and I'm with the band Ignescent. About a year and a half ago, I went through a custody battle and I thought I was about to lose my daughter. It was just a really, really hard time in my life. 
and I was, I was really crushed through the whole thing. Lies were being spread about me, and even my own lawyer didn't believe me, and he was believing the lies. I, um, I didn't know what to do, and the day we're set to head off to go uh, play at Heaven Fest in Colorado was the day that the GAL, which is the child uh, attorney, had recommended that my daughter not live with me and go live with her dad. And that day was a big turning point in my life. I really thought it was over because the judge um, usually takes that recommendation from the GAL. Um, so I just felt like God was telling me, Jennifer, you need a fire lawyer, just depend on me. You don't need a lawyer. So I did that. And um, the day we were supposed to open for Lacey Sturm of Flyleaf is the day that I found out that I couldn't get an extension um, and get another lawyer. And um, so I had about five minutes um, to prepare and fight for my daughter. And um, I was so thankful that my husband was there and my friend Tracy was there just praying for me and supporting me. And I went out there and in the courtroom and um, it was crazy. There was words coming out of my mouth that I didn't know what to say. It was like God was providing the words for me. And, um, and it just seemed like things were going really, really well. Well, the trial was continued to the next day. So I went home and I contacted everyone. I knew even people I haven't talked to in years and years. And I asked them just to pray, pray for me, pray for the situation that God would do a miracle. And the next day I went back to court and through the trial and um, the judge had said that it was really heavy on his heart, the specific case. And he, he started going through the 17 points and all of a sudden everything that he was saying was super positive and in my favor. And he, at the end he said that I got to keep my daughter and it was just a huge, huge miracle. I thought I was gonna lose her. Everyone around me thought it was over and God did that and he rescued me and I'm so, so thankful for that. Well, the reason I'm here just sharing my heart and my story with you is because I know you are all struggling out there with something, whether it be a sickness, cancer, divorce. You know, there's tons and tons of struggling single moms out there and you just feel like you can't get a break and you don't know what to do. And I just wanna encourage you that God sees your pain and he loves you so, so much. He thinks you're so precious. And I just want to encourage you in that, that he does see you and he loves you. And I just want to share with you a couple of verses from the Bible. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And Ephesians 2.8-9 says, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Well, here it talks about that there's nothing that we can do to, to be saved. I mean, um, there's, we just can't be good enough. It's unfortunate, but sin separates us from God. It's like God's on one side. We are on the other, and the sin creates a chasm between us. And that's why God decided to send his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins, because he loves us so much that Jesus sacrificed himself. 
if that's something that you're interested in having a relationship with God and starting that, the only thing you need to do is, is have a conversation with God and tell him that you want to, you know, that you just can't do it on your own anymore in that you want to follow him and um, you want to make that decision to follow Christ. If that's something that you're interested in doing, you can just say a prayer with me right now. Dear Jesus, I know I can't do this on my own. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sin. I want to give my life to you and follow you now. We love you. Thank you for all you do for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, if that's something that you've decided to do, I'd love for you to email me and contact me and let me know. My email address is ignescent at ignescentmusic.com. You can also contact me on Facebook um, under Jennifer Benson or under the Ignescent Music Facebook as well. If you just need someone to talk to or you just need... Uh, some prayer for anything at all, please contact me there as well. Well, thank you so much for listening and taking the time uh, just to hang out with me. God bless you all. I believe we can stand against giants. I believe we can walk like a lion. Telling me that you're dead, but I know you're alive.